We have a new video series and it's called TFL Reviews and it's all about reviewing accessories and truck gear and this is why I need Alex here to tell you what we're reviewing here in this episode. Here's the thing guys, if you love big SUVs, body on frame SUVs like this Land Cruiser, chances are you love to tow, but there is a big problem. That is, they usually don't come with a built-in brake controller. So today, let me introduce you to our newest team member, Alex, who's brought a solution and a review. Yeah, so I've got two different models of brake controllers here. They're both wireless models. And if you know anything about towing, you know that if you want to tow some big numbers, you need a brake controller. The problem is, our Land Cruiser doesn't have one. So we've got a couple of solutions here. Let's review them. I'll be showing you two different wireless and one wired brake controller. In this video, I'll show you the features, how to set up each one, and at the end of the video, I'll go over pricing and the benefits of all three brake controllers. So to demonstrate how these brake controllers work, we have this Cimarron dual axle three horse trailer provided by Transwest. It's got a curb weight of about 4,500 pounds, which means when it's loaded with three horses, it's well above that 3,000 pound limit to run a trailer without any trailer brakes. Here's three different solutions of brake controllers, and let's quickly go over them before we jump in depth into each one. So we have the Kurt Echo right here, and this is a really simple unit that plugs into your seven pin connector on your truck or SUV, and then you have another seven pin connector right here, and that's what you plug your trailer wiring into. So this is all connected to your phone. It uses Bluetooth. You don't need to wire anything into your dashboard. It seems to be a pretty simple solution. Now we have the Prodigy P2, which is more of a traditional brake controller. This lives on the dashboard, so usually you have to drill it in, and it kind of lives there permanently. And then this is really good for connecting to a pre-wired brake controller. So a lot of new vehicles come pre-wired for a brake controller, but they don't actually include the controller. That's where this comes in handy. You can either use the general wiring that they include in the box, or you can get a vehicle specific wiring harness that makes it really easy to just plug and play and get going with your brake controller. Then we have something called the Prodigy RF. And this control box basically lives on the trailer. You connect it up front near the tongue. This simply lives inside your vehicle and connects wirelessly to this module right here. And this acts as your brake controller. First, let's talk about this Takancha Prodigy RF. And I first wanna say that none of these brake controllers were sent to us to review. We purchased all of these, so these are gonna be our honest thoughts on all of them. So, like I said, this is a control unit that you have to mount to your trailer. So they want you to put it up near the tongue of your trailer. On this trailer, that would work perfectly right about here. The issue with this unit is that it's big, as you can see, and on some trailers, you may have a hard time finding a spot for it to go in, especially, you can see right here, it says this side up. So we don't have a lot of options when we wanna choose where to mount it, and that's because there's an accelerometer in here that sends a signal and is able to detect how the truck is accelerating or decelerating, and that's how it decides how much brake pressure to send out. But overall, it's a pretty good unit. You can see that in some positions, it's gonna be a little hard to get our trailer wire to connect to here, and that's kind of the downside with this unit. You basically connect your trailer wire into this control unit. Of course, it would normally be mounted to the side of the trailer. You run this seven pin connector up to the port on your tow vehicle. It's pretty clear that not a lot of people tow with Land Cruisers. Our seven pin connector is all the way under the bumper right here, so we need to really look for it but there it is. I will say this unit is very good for if you have one trailer and multiple tow vehicles. This lives on your trailer permanently. There's no install needed for the actual controller. So if you're towing one trailer all the time and you don't wanna make modifications to a bunch of different vehicles, this is a really good solution to go with. All right, we have the Prodigy RF hooked up to the trailer. Now let's show you how to use 
the actual brake controller. So once you plug it in, the first thing you have to do is pair it. And to do that, you have to make sure the gain controller on the side is turned all the way down, and then you hold both the manual control and the boost button, and we'll see this countdown from five to one. It then goes into pairing mode. We can release the buttons and just wait for this unit to connect to the control box that is attached to our trailer. All right, now we see zero, zero, so we're all paired up and ready to go. Just like any brake controller, we have a gain control on the side where we can adjust how much power is being sent to the brakes. And when I release the brakes, we can see there's no power being sent. The second I put my foot back on the brake, it's gonna start sending power to the trailer brakes. Now we do have a manual control on the side in case we wanna just send power to the trailer brakes and not to the vehicle's brakes. That would be for if someone cuts you off or your trailer starts to sway, you can just tap the trailer brakes and have the trailer settle down and bring you under control. We also have a boost button right here and we can switch between boost mode one, two, and three. We'll probably run in boost mode one with a trailer like this, but if you're using a much bigger and heavier trailer, you can bump that into boost mode three and have even more braking power being sent to your trailer's brakes. I really like this unit because you don't need to drill into your dashboard or wire anything up. It just uses the 12 volt power you already have in your tow vehicle, so that's really nice. Just like any brake controller, you're gonna wanna test your trailer lights and also test your trailer brakes. And the way you do that is go somewhere safe and you basically wanna use your brake controller at about five, 10 miles an hour and apply power and make sure that the brakes do not lock up. If they lock up, you need to send less power through the brake controller. And if it's not bringing the trailer to a stop, you obviously need more. So you add more until you're just before the point where your wheels start to lock up under braking. Now there's also something called surge brakes, which is really popular on boat trailers. We're not covering that today, but let us know down in the comments below if that's something you'd like to see in a future video. Next up, we have the Kurt Echo. This is a completely Bluetooth controlled device, so you're gonna use your smartphone with it, and it's really simple to install and get going to use. You can swap it between trailer and trailer. You can also swap it between tow vehicle and tow vehicle really easy. There's really no installation process. So we have a seven pin connector right here. That's gonna go into the seven pin port on the Land Cruiser. Make sure it's in there nice and secure. And that basically gives us another seven pin connector on the outside where we can plug our trailer wiring into. And it's basically just a pass through that adds a trailer brake controller that's compatible with your smartphone directly in between the trailer wiring and the tow vehicle wiring. So inside the tow vehicle, we have this Echo Smart Controller app. And the big thing with this is you wanna make sure you have a phone mount, either something to go off of your windshield or your air vent. The last thing you wanna do is be in an emergency situation and have to fumble with your phone and open the app. You want it right there within arm's reach. So once we get in here, we can just go to sync devices and it will show what devices it finds. Of course, we have our echo brake controller that we wanna pair with. And just like that, it says pairing successful, continue. And then there's a little code that comes printed on the Echo Brake controller and also in the packaging. So you have to enter that code. And just like that, we're loaded into the app. We get five different profiles. So if you're towing multiple different trailers, you can set the gain differently for each one and then it will remember your profiles. So you don't need to do it each time. We have a max output and a sensitivity right here to control again how much brake power it's putting out. Right now I have my foot on the brakes in the tow vehicle so you can see this blue bar right here showing that the trailer brakes are activated. If my if I take my foot off of the brakes that goes away comes back on when I reapply the brakes. This big orange button is for emergencies you just hold down on it and it will apply your trailer brakes in an emergency situation and you can see right there that I kind of had to fumble with it for a second Touch screens are not the best and I would much rather have a physical button right there. It's kind of sketchy that if I'm in an emergency, I have to look at my phone in order to activate the trailer brakes. So that's kind of the downside with this unit. You do have a little dark and light theme right here for in case you're towing at night. Overall, the system works pretty well and it's really easy to transfer from trailer to trailer. 
I don't like how you have to depend on technology though. I don't think that's ever a safe bet, especially when you're dealing with thousands and thousands of pounds trailing behind your vehicle. One big question I have with the system is what happens if I get a phone call? So we're gonna test that out. Andre's gonna try and call my phone right now and we'll see what happens. And there's the big issue right there. The app completely goes away. I can answer his phone call and my trailer brakes are nowhere to be found. So you might want to turn on do not disturb or something if you're using this. I really don't like that I then have to swipe to get back to this in case of an emergency. But you could probably use a dedicated device, like if you had an old phone or something? Yeah, definitely. If you had an old phone, you don't even need cell phone reception because it's only using Bluetooth. So that's definitely an option you could go with. Lastly, we've got the Prodigy P2. Now you can install this into any vehicle by splicing into your wiring harness, but a lot of vehicles come pre-wired for a spot for a brake controller. So that's what this is really useful for. You don't need to install anything on the outside of the vehicle as long as you have your seven pin connector, but you need that to tow anyway. So what you do with this is just mount it somewhere to your dashboard. A lot of people either put them on the left or the right hand side. I like the right hand side because then when I have my left hand on the steering wheel, I can use my right hand to control this over on this side. Either way though, you really don't want to use Velcro for this. You can see we have some Velcro here, but that can fall off really easily. The downside with this unit is you have to really drill it into your dashboard. So it can't be off kilter at all like this. You have to make sure it's perfectly flush and pointing straight. You're gonna have to drill into your dash. You're gonna possibly lower the resale value of your tow vehicle. And a lot of people just don't like to make major modifications to their vehicle. This can also get in the way of some of your controls. It can hit your knees. But overall, a lot of people like going with a solution like this because it's semi-permanent, it stays in your vehicle, and you can use it with a number of different trailers without installing anything on your trailer. Just like with our Prodigy RF, we have a manual control right here in case of emergencies, as well as a gain controller and a boost function. So there's a little overview on how all three of these brake controllers work. Now, which one should you go with? The Prodigy RF is a really good unit. It's about $270, and this is perfect for if you have one trailer with multiple tow vehicles. The actual controller doesn't get installed or drilled anywhere. You don't need to wire it into the vehicle, and the control module lives on the trailer permanently. So really good solution for one trailer. And overall, if you just don't want to drill into the dash of your car, this can be a good solution too, if you don't mind drilling into your trailer and want to keep your car clean. Now we have the Prodigy P2. This is a really good option to go with if you already have your truck or SUV pre-wired for a brake controller. It's the cheapest unit out of these three, about $105 for the actual unit, plus another 20 if you want to get a wiring harness to go with your vehicle. So that's probably why these are so popular. They make other models such as the Prodigy P3 if you need more features or more power, but overall, going with something like this is really good for a truck that's pre-wired. Lastly, we have the Kurt Echo. This guy goes for about $229, so it's pretty affordable. I really like this for rental trailers. If you don't tow a lot and don't wanna make any modifications to your vehicle, and you don't wanna install anything of value onto a rental trailer, this is a really good option to go with if you're only towing once or twice a year. Now, these are just three examples of different styles of brake controllers. All three styles come in many different models made by different manufacturers. So if you're thinking serious about picking one of these up, you might wanna do a little bit more research. With that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world reviews and maybe some more truck gear reviews as well.